boat and moving in the same direction. And against my better judgment, I trusted him on that one. It was told to me that it went over because I let go of the bow line. Well, I didn't. I had on right to the thing went under. You know, Brown, he's dangerous. The Delta, for instance, tipping over, uh, that was because Peter Brown didn't put tension on the bow line. It's simple as that. He's a very incompetent person when it comes to uh, anything on the deck. I'm just through being patient with him. He's only here because he's Paul's friend. Dave Jennings wasn't listening to instructions from the officers. Only the operator is to be lowered down in the boat. Then the other crew are to go down the uh, ladder and join. The quick release probably would have worked if it was just him in the boat. On the helicopter deck, newly promoted helicopter deck chief Potsy is making a devastating confession. In the chaos following the Delta flip, he inadvertently damaged the helicopter's rotor blade. I was like, oh God, you know, I've got to go tell Chris now that I've destroyed his bloody helicopter. Potsy unfortunately hit the rotor blade um, with the gaff or whatever you want to call that thing with a hook on it. He must have had it way up and then just swung it backwards right into the blade. If the helicopter's not working, it means we can't run reconnaissance flights, which means, you know, we probably won't find the Japanese fleet. It's almost as bad as if you went up and hit the radar with a baseball bat. Um, I'm not going to do anything until I call Darren and let him see this photograph. Getting sabotaged by the crew here. And I was like, you know, I've just been put on to this job and I've totally stuffed it up. He just screwed up. That's all there is to it. You can mess around with a lot on a helicopter. You can't mess around with the road boats. I will be shocked if um, he says it's airworthy. Chris calls the aircraft's engineer back in Melbourne for an emergency consult. You're worried about it changing the flight, flight characteristics of the, of the road blade. So you recommend that uh, you recommend that just take it for a, just a, a short test flight to see if it's changed the characteristics of the blade. I'll do a hover test, you know, at varying speeds. If it starts to crack in flight, you can have a catastrophic failure. Without the helicopter, the Sea Shepherd's mission will be in serious jeopardy. So the captain decides to let Chris test it, despite the dangers. It's like whistle. Why was this gone, please? Go on. Make sure this helicopter can fly. If the blade shatters, it will send the helicopter and its pilot, Chris, plunging into the icy Antarctic waters. But for the Sea Shepherds, that's a risk they are willing to take for the whales.